you know what? If you are going to Tokyo, you are definitely going to be doing some shopping. So why not check out some cute art stores along the way? Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five of my favorite art stores. Some of them I've been going to forever. Some of them I've only been for the first time. So a whole variety, lots of different things to see. And then you can decide for yourself which ones you feel are worth going to. I have no... I was going to say I have no expertise or I'm not qualified to make this listicle, but here are my qualifications. I am an artist, I run a small business, and I illustrate things. So yeah, I need art supplies. I go shopping for craft things. So that's my qualification. And I hope you like the list of shops that I can recommend. I did my best to film at all the shops even though filming was not allowed at some places so I used my phone and I feel like the quality of iPhones nowadays are pretty okay so like there shouldn't be a problem and yeah let's go to the first place. We're here! Hi! We're at Itoya which is like a five minute walk from Ginza station which is oh, so nice. I've never been here before, but like every time I come to Japan and every time in Tokyo, people tell me like, oh my God, how have you not been to Itoya? So like, I'm finally here. And apparently this is like, I think the original branch. There are a couple of Itoyas around Tokyo, but like this is the original one. It might be the biggest, I'm not sure, but it was definitely the first one. That's what my friend told me. Look how much research I did. <laughs> Nice. Uh, but today we are going to try our best to not spend the entire day here. Yeah, let's see what's good about it, what we find, any good deals, and see how we like it. Let's go! Oh my god, look, they have a collaboration with an artist. Wouldn't it be nice if one day maybe I could have one? Yeah. Image of Sad Shrooms X Itoya collaboration. I also see like a shop directory which is like, let's see. I love having handy toilets around, but like, wait, is it 12 stories or is it 8 stories? Wynne came here the other time and spent like 3 4 hours here and she only covered 5 levels. So let's see how well we do. It looks like it's about 8 stories. Look at this. It's a fortune cookie. And then I can make my own fortune with this little car. That's kinda, kinda swag. I kinda love it. Then a cafe. A cafe. We just had some breakfast, so we're not gonna have food. Let's go to the second level. It's even more postcards. Stickers, 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 stickers. I love. How do I stop myself? Is there a budget? Do I have a budget? $100. Okay. My favorite ugly, fluffy, smiley faces. It's like, okay, the normal smileys are already cute, but like the fluffy ones, it's $2 though. Do I need this? That's so cute. So cute, right? Yes. <laughs> because I have a budget of $100 and I can do whatever I so please with it. Do you want? Okay, I'll buy it for Win. Win loves Mifi. If you have Mifi stuff, Send it to my PO box. We will be so happy. Love you. Anyone remembers this? Barba Papa. I grew up with Barba Papa. Loved it. But like, I feel like it kind of like stopped being around as I grew up. Which is really sad. They're so cute. But like, it's so niche. If I use it, no one's gonna know who they are. This is wind section. <laughs> Out of my league. I don't feel like I use fancy pens enough, but Wuvin loves these, right? You like it? She's lying. She has like a $50 pen. When I started drawing, I used Copics a lot. And like, I would just remember everything being so expensive and I could never afford anything. Nothing has changed much <laughs> since then. It's just, I don't use Copic now. So like, I can be like, ah, I don't have to get these. It's always been my dream. I would just get this, just bring it home, you know? This is $330 above my budget. This is 
my haul from Italia. I actually bought so many different postcards from all of the five shops that we're going to, but I already mailed them out to my friends, so I don't have them. You just gotta trust me on that one, and if you saw me picking out some designs to put in my little basket, my little shopping cart, that's the evidence for you. But yeah, this is the rest of the stuff I got from Italia. I feel like Italia is a super fancy art store. Also because it's in a really fancy place, Ginza is known for like where the rich people hang out and shop and where all the branded things are. So I'm not surprised that things are a little bit more expensive there and also a bit more bougie. So just be prepared for that. It's really an experience. I said I was going to buy this sketchbook and start sketchbooking. Have I done anything? See? My answer is no. I did decide to get this set of oil pastels, 24 different colours, and it was a really hard time choosing. I also bought the neon set of 12. I couldn't resist because of the colours. I got one Mifi postcard for Win that I have not given to her because I needed to do this haul. Also, you saw me grabbing these bunch of smiley face stickers. I feel like these are classic. I could never go wrong with them and I can use them really almost everywhere. I got some uh, washi tape, also got an OK stamp and a Mifi OK stamp. Lastly, I got this set of friction highlighters. So I love friction pens. Here's me whipping out my 2023 Muji Diary. I write all of my to-do lists and everything like on pen and paper because I can't deal with digital things. I don't want to see the screen anymore than I already have to, so I write everything down. I love getting to erase them because I don't think I can deal with the fact that there will be correction liquid all over the place. So like, yeah, I love friction pens. One day friction will sponsor me, I'm manifesting it. I want to do a swatch of these highlighters so that you can see. But this is my really tiny haul from Italia. shop that we'll be going to is somewhere that I've never been before and I was super excited to go. I only managed to visit the rest of the art shops really late into my trip so like I haven't bought any stationery since then so I kind of went a bit crazy when I saw everything. I've never heard of this store, I've never been here, but we're at the High Tide store at Miyashita Park. When I was still living here before COVID, this mall was just built. I think it was supposed to like hype up everyone like about the Olympics, but then like, yeah, only a few luxury stores and everything were open, but I've never been in this actual building. There are three floors of shopping and there's like a whole sky garden roof thing going on. So we're gonna check it out later, but like we're finally at this store. I see so much color, which I'm very excited for, even though the store is just, small and simple. I'm so excited to go in. Let's go in. It says to use a basket for easy shopping. You know what? Thank you. I will. Oh my god, the colours. Literally, literally, I cannot help myself. What is this? Travel organizer in neon orange? They basically have like the same item in every single colour, if that makes sense. So if you like this pouch, they have it in all the neon colours. And they also have washi tape here, so that's always a win. They're also having a 50% off. Oh my god, I found this steel glasses case. It's literally so cute. So there's this little button here and you just press it. I found something similar at the flea market that we just went to. I posted like an entire photo blog up on my Patreon, but like I bought a similar one for $2 and it was in this color. It's like a clear metal case, so like do I need a bigger one? I do really like this shape. I didn't even know it was for your glasses. It's so cute. Oh my god, what is this? It's a mighty stapler. You can staple at any angle. How often do I use a stapler though? But I do have already like a cute green stapler at home. So you know what? I do. I do. I just bought one. But everything here is so cute. I love um, the little storage things they have in the store as well. Look at this. What is this? Wow. Look. They have container storage that you can like pack in like that. So it'll be four boxes of the same colour. Not the cutest tape dispenser you've ever seen in your entire life. And it's weighted by the way. Guys, you know I have Mr. Elephant at home. I'll put Mr. Elephant here. You know he exists. You guys see him in the packing videos? Oh, you know, it's horrible. I hate this store. 
I was literally just looking for a measuring tape the other day. By the other day, I mean like yesterday because I'm like designing merchandise right now on my Lee X Set Shrimps collab. If it's out, it's out. If it's not, link below. Um, but yeah, I was looking for measuring tape and like all the convenience stores ran out. This would have been freaking perfect. Do I need one now though? They have their own washi tapes too. This one is all the little apples. So cute. Bye. <laughs> Look, I found this here. Like they have a bunch of Rizzo prints. I picked up the best one. This is so cute. It's perfect. I'm gonna buy it. This is my haul from High Tide. It's not that crazy. I feel like there were a lot more things in my cart and I had to make some pretty big decisions in short amount of time. I could have gotten any color for these containers and I was so worried about the weight because bringing them back would have been really tough. They're quite heavy, but I'm excited to finally open them. So yeah, this is what I got. I did try searching online to see if they would have these so I don't have to buy them there. They did not. They have like the other square containers or like the partition storage things but they don't have this, the ones that I want. They're perfect. Oh my god, and they fit so well. These are gorgeous. I'm so happy with them. And I feel like they'll be really cute when I stack them on top of each other like that. Okay, I'm really happy with these. Then I decided to get this glasses case. I went with the white instead. I think I grabbed the green one in a video, but I decided that this would be a lot more neutral because I don't know what bag I'm bringing it with. I love the springiness of it, you know, and it's not like a slow, like I gotta, no, it just opens. And there's also a bit of a suede lining in it to protect the glasses. So yeah, this feels very high quality. I'm very happy with these. It's solid as well. And I decided to go for the green one. I already hung a cute little keychain that Win won on the claw game. I posted it on Instagram because she had a hard time getting it. So when she finally got it, I thought like I had to keep it in the place where I'll see it all the time. And I put my hard drive and chargers in these as well as my SD cards when I'm traveling. So like I already used it and I'm really happy with it. I kind of want to get the iPad case as well, but maybe that's for my next time. I'm definitely going back to high tide though. Then I also got this. I got a metal book rest, which I'm going to use for my iPad. Ah. Oh, so you can put it like this, put it up like that. I love it. For what reason would I have my iPad out like this? But whenever I do, I have it in a cute little pink stand. Oh, and the pink is perfect as well. So I'm, I love it. We also did get the big Rizzo print. I love the colors that they use in this print. I did zoom in and realize that it was a bunch of feet. <laughs> it's just like legs. But you know what? I'm not mad. I'm not mad about it. I, I think the feet are kind of cute. Like in a, in a artistic sense. I can go about my business and imagine this in the background. It, it works, doesn't it? It's perfect actually. Lastly, a bunch of tiny things we got from High Tide. I did get the apple washi tape that I talked about and also the measuring tape. The measuring tape is of such good quality. I know it for sure. I can feel it. And also the packaging is so cute, the design. And then we got two phone stands, one for me, one for Win. Why did I get the red? Oh, maybe because my computer is orange and then I convinced myself that I had to get the red. And that white will be too boring. Ta-da! And then Win got the white one. Not to say that she's boring, but I think it's the most classic, so very nice. The third place that we went to is Loft. I feel like this place famous, everybody knows it, everybody has been there, and it's famous for a reason. There's so many good things there. Did I buy anything? Yes, I did. Did I buy anything work-related or art-related? Not as much, but still, a great place to shop. 
Okay, before we go on with the rest of the video, I want to share with you the sponsor of today's video, which is Bayi. Thanks Bayi for sponsoring yet another video. The last time we did a studio transformation video and I bought a bunch of cute stuff. And this time I got something very special. So if you haven't heard of Bayi, it's essentially a Japanese proxy site that allows you to buy anything you want directly from Japan. You can shop from the most popular websites like Merukari, uh, Rakuten, Amazon Japan, and so many more. If you go onto their website, you can see a whole long list of all the shops they can help you buy from. If not, they also have an extension that you can download and it can help you search for things that you want to buy when you're on their website. After that, it's easy. You just do your shopping, edit to cart, and check out. And then if you've ordered from a couple of different shops, they'll also help you compile it and then ship it to you internationally. So easy. So if you're on this video, you're seeing me buy cute things from Japan, you don't even have to go to Japan. You can just use Bai to buy what you want. But let's open the package. I decided to get something kind of different than what I would normally buy. So I also paid for their protective packaging just so I could show you how it'll look like, but then it's so safe. So you don't have to worry if you buy anything fragile. They put this little tape. So much cushioning and I feel secure. Do you know what I got? Can you tell? Don't worry, I'll reuse all the packaging. Oh my god, it's so well packaged. I got an old digital camera from Fujifilm and this is from Merukari, which is like a secondhand shop like Depop or eBay that kind of thing. And these have been super popular recently. They used to be so much easier to find in Japan and those old camera shops and stuff. But nowadays people are like snatching them up because it's trendy. So I got the FinePix digital camera in A201 and how I found this was search digital camera in English and then I also searched it in Japanese like, because different things turn up depending on what you type. This entire set was only $35 with the charger, with the manual and everything still intact and wrapped beautifully so I thought what a steal. So I actually bought this for Wynn because she's super into photography and everything. We also bought this super cute see if I can find it. Here we go. We got another cute digital camera from Nikon here and this one turns both ways which is so ahead of its time. I used this to film some parts of my ceramics in Tokyo video and I just thought like since these can be really cheap if you find them, why not get another one? If you would like to get something from Bai or something from Japan in any of their sites, you can shop through the link in my description box for 10% off your entire order. Once again, thank you so much Bai for sponsoring this video. I'm so happy with my buys and thank you for supporting my sponsors so that I can continue making content. Enjoy your shopping! Let's get back to the video. We're at Loft! This is a cult classic. I think anyone who loves stationery and art or has been to Japan has definitely been to Loft. And they are everywhere. I feel like they have so many outlets. Here. So you don't have to visit this particular branch, but I've been here a couple of times. I always come here when I need like last minute stationery or props for videos and stuff. So very useful place. There are so many levels and a whole bunch of lifestyle stuff. So it's not just stationery and art stuff, really just home decor, like a whole level full of soaps and stuff so we'll just see but i'm looking for some stationery today we'll see what we can find so there are six stories but i think let's just go to four they look like the most important one the home goods interior stuff uh health and beauty goods gift goods and stationery in the basement so yeah and there's no filming allowed so we're just gonna do it secretly i'm looking for postcards to give my friends like the melon soda one let's go to the basement i think that's more of my section who holds their phone like that we're trying to film secretly and Win is holding her phone like <laughs> The amount of stickers here are crazy. This is so cute. It's $3 though. I love this one. You want to get inspired? You can buy a bunch of stickers here. I decided to get this one. The heart shaped smiley ones. Because why not? This is so cute. It's a fluffy little patch. Oh my god, every time I see Snoopy now, I think of Sean because who else loves Snoopy? Just Sean. It's so cute. I love that they have this section to make your own uchiwa and your picket so you can buy like boards and stuff. They have all the different kinds of papers and you can cut them out and stick them on this base. That's sick. That's so cute. If you've ever been to like a Japanese concert or not even a K-pop concert but like you've seen those uchiwas, they also sell them at Daiso and stuff so very cute. Very cute. Oh my god, it's so fancy. They have like little cutout from scenes of Ghibli movies. So pretty. Oh, I like this one. She's behind all of the bread and the bread counter. So cute. Oh, we're looking to try some new like 
ink pens because I don't really know what's good. I just see a lot of people using different ones and I have one ink pen that I've been using since I was a teenager and I love that brand so much. If I can find it, I'll insert a little video here but yeah, I want to try new ones and since Win is having a sketchbook too, I just want to see whether we can find anything we like that is new. It's so helpful that they have like the little pictures of the brush tips here. This pen is $10. Just look at pictures and pick one, I think. It's the only one with a lady on it, so I assume she's endorsing it. And it's trustworthy? It's trustworthy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Lucky Clover waffle machine. Oh my god, you guys know this Japanese snack? They've been like on a roll. They're like making merch everywhere. Like um, they have pouches of all the different animal crackers and now a waffle maker. Castella maker. No, not even a waffle maker. A castella maker. Tell me this is not like the best thing you've ever seen. Overall, I kind of forgot how big this place was. I feel like it's more like a lifestyle brand store than like an art stationery store. Uh, really, the first floor and the basement are all they have for stationery and the rest are just like things. So I feel like it's a great place to walk around and just like shop and look for everything if that's what you're into. If you're looking specifically for art stuff, then you don't have to come to Loft. I think Loft is just like a fun building to like check out but if art specific things then like maybe not so much. Also the staff are kind of like rigid like with you touching the displays and, and things so it's not my favourite place compared to like the places that we've been to before so do what you will with that information. This is my haul from Loft. It is tiny compared to what I've bought previously, but very interesting items. I can't wait to show them to you. I'm gonna start off strong with this super light cabbage peeler. And I love the little instruction manual that is in the shape of a cabbage. And this is how it looks like. We haven't tried it yet, but apparently there's a diff like a specific kind of cabbage and the side that you should be shaving from. And then you can create that super light and thin cabbage that you eat with all your katsu or like in salads when you go to sukiya or matsuya or yoshinoya all the salads taste like that so like i'm excited to use this it's like an unnecessary specific tool in the kitchen and we were really excited about it then i also got these you might be wondering what are these um i got them in two different shapes so like the big pieces in triangles and then uh, squares and then also tiny little squares so these are actually the the things you put in your lunch boxes where you can section off different things. So since these are made of silicone, like you can put them like that and then like put different dishes and not have them all mixed together so you can bring them out. And I feel like these will come in super useful whenever we make bentos, which is not very often, but when we do, we'll be ready. You know, is that just an excuse to buy things? Perhaps, but am I saving the environment potentially? Say it with me. Okay, the last day in the bento series in the kitchenware department because that's where we spend most of our time. We got this bento box toothpicks. Uh, these are little buses and trains, ambulances, fire trucks, airplanes, police cars. So basically vehicles. But yes, nothing to do with bentos. I feel like a little, like a little baby with being entertained by these things. I would want to open my lunchbox and have these sticking into the sausages so I can like it. You know, so cute. One day, if I ever do make a bento, I will film it so you can be like, oh my god, I remember those. Yeah. So we wanted to be a bit adventurous. We bought a bunch of calligraphy pens because we don't know which one is good. I'll do a swatch test and then I'll tell you which one is my favorite. We also got this. This is a little band, an apple print band. So this is to keep your bento shut just in case or to, if you have two small bentos, you can put them together and then like tie them. I knew I had to get it. Am I in an apple phase? I'm in my apple phase. I just, yeah. I recently created this bunch of rewards for my Patreon as well. The print and the sticker sets were designed around the theme of apples being head empty and like having zero thoughts. I just, that's just me recently, but like, am I going into an apple phase? Maybe. I'm gonna swatch these. We'll start with the dependable lady that we liked. She's inside here as well. Then we'll do this one. Ooh, this one's a bit softer. 
soft. Mm -hmm. This one's softer. This one's like harder but really nice to write with. Now let's try this one. Yeah, it feels like how that one feels. Last one, we'll go for this. It looks like it's for calligraphy, I don't know. <laughs> oh yeah, I was not expecting such a small pen. I like the twin type the most. I feel like the brush was really soft and then like I love the duality of it. Then I'll go for the first one with the very trustable lady in front because it had a really firm tip but it was still a brush pen. I feel like these really fun to draw with and it still gives you a bit more control than the soft brush so this one's second then I'll go with basically what the twin tip one has it's just a soft brush really nice to write things with and then last it's this one I wasn't expecting it to be so literally so small you can't even see it if I used it to draw like freckles on my face that's, that's how small it is. I don't know when I'll use this. It feels also very fragile. Like if I press too hard, it would like ruin the brush type of thing. So I'm not good with things like this. So this is my ranking from best to worst. I feel like this is a great lesson for everybody to just like buy things to try if they're in your budget because you'll never know what kind of treasures that you might find or what pens you might discover that you like. Because I've been using the same pen forever, forever. Okay, and I finally have something new to use and then like, if my opinion changes whenever throughout the vlogs, I'll let you know. I'll be like, I take that back. This one is better, but yeah. This is my all-time favorite pen. It's, it's a TRJ50 by Pentel. How are you it has this like a uh, angled tip to it. Careful, it does leak from this part. So it has a firmness and a strength. It's very nice to write. I highly recommend this to my favorite out of everything that we Maybe this is also a lesson to just keep the things you like. <laughs> the fourth place is Sekairo. I feel like I'm going to put the, the titles in the video anyway, so yeah. Hi, now we're at Sekairo. And this one's famous. I feel like if you're into art or stationery and you're just like an artist person, or maybe just even like you like to shop, you've heard of this place. Everyone has been here. That's why it's a fan favorite. I think there are only three floors, but somehow I remember there being more. Maybe it's because I just had a great time. This is the most art, art, art shop. And I can find like a wide variety of all the brands and colors of like the paints, pencils and crayons and whatever that I'm looking for. They also have like other craft section like miniature stuff and resin or whatnot. So let's see what we can find today, see if anything has changed. And I'm looking for some art books. Let's see if we can find any. I don't think they allow us to film film, but I'm gonna try to film it with my phone camera and then you'll see, you'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, the first entire floor, as you can see, is all greeting cards and postcards, which I love. I can't help myself. I feel like I need to buy a ton of postcards for some reason. So we're gonna see what they have. I remember that being like the musical ones. I wanna show you a couple of them because I just find them so entertaining the first time I saw them. Unmatched energy. I've never seen anything like them. Oh, I love this. Look at this. It's a lenticular Tokyo neon sign. Isn't this kind of sick? I like this. Oh, no, wait. It's a fan. That's so cute. You can send a fan over. Oh, wow. So cute. So cute. I feel like I need to have lots of confidence in my art to make it black and white. Like this is so cute. What a long postcard. You will also need like a special envelope to put the postcard in. Found some Mifi things. And like, I feel like I'm, I wasn't really a Mifi person, but then because Wynn loves Mifi, suddenly I'm like, baby. <laughs> cute. Nice. We're in the binder section and it's like, okay, A5 size, whatever size. And then why is this Bible size? Is this not the size of anything else? Specifically a Bible size. Should we? <laughs> like, there's just so many pens. Like everything is... You could spend hours in here, I feel like. There's just so many things to look at. And we also found a little Mifi section. Oh my god, win. I had no idea that Japan had so many Mifi things. I'm sorry I brought you here. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, it's a... Uh... Colour pencil. <laughs> Colour pencils. I found this. It's 10% off. You can have a little memo pad of what's his name here and write your little reminders. It's not even a post-it pad, so it's not sticky. It's just a memo pad. It's so funny. Like, comment in the comment section down below. Will you use this? What's his name? I'm sorry, I'm not a Demon Slayer fan. I am a Jujutsu Kaisen fan though. 
I think the art books are on the second floor. Look, art books, art books. They have a book on how to draw hands. Oh, sick. I love books like these. Ooh, oh my god, that's a steamy, it's a steamy section. I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. <laughs> I found a Hyogen catalogue, which is a catalogue of facial expressions. And this is the kids' version, so they tell you the ages, and you can reference it for expressions. I think it's so cool. They have an adult version as well. This is like the perfect place. I can't find these other books, and we've been to so many bookstores, so if you're looking for specific illustration books, I feel like... Every time I come here, every time I come to a stationery shop and I see things like this, it's like, can I buy it? Yes, I can. Do I need them? Maybe I do. Should I still buy them? I don't know. They have the cool colour and then they have the warm colour. It's a set of 30, so like, a whole bunch of colours. And I love brush pens. Is it for making art though? Not necessarily, it's just to have them and to <laughs> hold them. But also to write letters and stuff, which is more of what I like. I've decided I'm gonna get the 24 and then like a bunch of other colours to fill in the pastel shape that they're missing. This is my Sekairo haul. I haven't got it out of the bag yet because I feel like it was the easiest way to organize my things. So this is my haul. I feel like I bought the most things here. I think I spent like $300 in Sekairo. Starting off with... Guys, this is just one of the many Mifi things that I bought. I remember showing you that corner. I'm going to make a completely different video with just everything that I bought from Japan, my entire haul. I bought a couple of books from Sekairo, but I bought so many more and it's all going to be in that video. So. Hang on tight, I will post it. Stay tuned for that. I am so excited to flip through some of my favourite buys from this trip. I bought this insane art book from the Jujutsu Kaisen exhibition and it has all the keyframes and the storyboards and the original art and I'm just like salivating when I saw it. And she's like, all the books here are so good. I'm going to show you a little bit, but please watch that video when it comes out. Let's unbox it. I went back and forth forever, you saw in a video, but I did decide to get the 24 set of these brush pen markers. Don't know when I'm going to use them, but am I very happy to own them? And I want to put them somewhere. It, it looks cool. Oh, I think I bought some extra colours as well. These are Wynn's postcards. She bought a couple for herself because she loves Mifi so much. I think she's going to put them in her room, so I'll put that aside. Let's go to the stationery first. I bought these two silver metallic trays. So Japan loves these because you can put your change or your coins on them so they don't directly have to touch the money or you basically don't pass money like that. But I decided to get these because they were so sturdy. They are not just like... Can you hear based on the sound? These are so solid and I feel like they would make really cute like decorations or like displays for my pop-up booths. I don't know how I'm going to use them yet but you always have to buy things to try out. So like yeah, I'm glad I got these. I almost dropped it. I also got this retro seal thing. It's just so cute. It tells me what is inside, but I don't actually know what this is. <gasps> the box is so cute. <gasps> it pulls out. What is this? Oh, it's just stickers. Okay. Oh, very cute stickers though. Very cute. Oh, even the box is cute inside. Packaging inspiration, I'm gonna keep the box. These are all of the new acrylic gouaches I have. I can buy them online in Singapore, but like they are very limited. They don't have a lot of the colors that I want, especially green. So I went to stock up all the greens that I liked and some of my favorite colors, like the pink and orange. And I don't paint as often as I would like to, but I did buy a couple of canvases hiding in this cupboard that I will paint eventually so I'm very happy and even if I don't use them I'm just glad that I can buy them because like it's just fun it's fun I also got a couple of colors that were missing in this 24 set and these are more pastel let's move on to the fun part the books we spent so much time in the book section but these two books are wins okay these are futuristic illustrations of for kids in the Showa era and of illustrations of strange, mysterious, and bizarre things for kids in the show white era. So I, I think she's just keeping this for inspiration, but it's like old horror movie posters or like 
very interesting space related stuff. The graphics are super cute, but yeah, these are wins. I don't think I'll be referencing from that, but I love this one. It's called Nihon no Retro Bin, which is retro glass bottles of Japan. There wasn't a new one, so like the top is a little bit like mushy, but it's fine. Let me choose one page that I like, and then you can be like, oh, look at this. Or maybe things like that, okay? Like that. So it's an entire book for glass bottles and I'm in love. I don't know when I'm going to use this, but like, do I enjoy looking at it? Yeah, that's what things should make you feel. Okay, and then I got this Sanrio design from the 90s to 2010s. I got another Sanrio art book, which was from the 70s to 80s, I think. I got both of them from Sekairo because they have such an interesting book section, but I will flip through it in the other video, so you gotta watch it. I'll just show you what it's like. You basically can see all of the little things that they've made throughout the years and like what inspired them and what was the feels and the vibes for that generation of that era. So like, yeah, I want to get inspiration and design a whole bunch of different goods. So I'm in my manufacturing era. I want to make my shop like the main thing. So I have so much fun designing the stuff and I'm designing so many new things for the shop right now. Hang tight. New t-shirts, sweatshirts, earrings prints and everything are coming to the shop so yeah stay tuned for the other video i want to flip through this with you and the last book we got from there is this book on poses of the hand so i can't draw hands if you <laughs> if you scroll through my instagram i have a hard time drawing hands i feel like i can do it sometimes after lots of trial and error but this book is really good because ah oh, perfect peace this is the peace sign i feel like this will be a great way to reference uh, for drawing and stuff they have holding different things different poses literally most things so i feel like this was a really good use of 24 dollars i think like sometimes when you're trying to draw um people and you're trying to reference your own hand it's not the same and you can't really find poses on pinterest as well so it's a great book awesome that's my haul from sekaido we're at our fifth stop which is yuzawaya i love Izawaya. I discovered this accidentally when I used to like just roam around in shopping malls. I was like, wait, this looks like an interesting place. If you live in Singapore, I think it's the equivalent to like Spotlight, mainly like a fabric place, but I've seen little corners full of resin stuff, craft stuff. I just think it's a fun place to shop if you're into sewing and yarn and crocheting or whatever. Maybe this is a shop that you could check out. So yeah, it's technically not really an art stationery shop, but let's see what we can find. And I just, I just have fun being in here. It's a small outlet today, so I don't know if they'll have what I'm looking for, but I'm excited. You za wa ya, you za wa ya, you za wa ya, yay! I always feel like a brand new person whenever I spray alcohol on my hands and like feels like I'm ready to shop, you know? Okay, patchwork section. So cute. Okay, I don't know how to sew. I don't own a sewing machine. So I used to come here because I would be looking for fabrics inspiration for prints and stuff. Because sometimes the textiles and the illustrations are really cute. Merino wool. Yarn, stuff for crocheting. I don't know if these are averagely priced because I don't shop for yarn. I used to, but I don't do that anymore. So I don't know if these are cheap or not. But I think they have a pretty good selection. It goes on this entire shelf. These look so good. Oh, this will be so cute. Can anybody make this for me? They say that there are video lessons available so you can easily make them. I don't have trusted myself that I'm gonna do this when I go home so I'm not going to attempt to. They have some resin stuff, I already see it. You know I love Sumiko Gurashi. They have the moulds. Like you can make Sumiko Gurashi resin stuff. Oh okay okay no they said they're selling the motif. So this is the random shape of the bear but you could they give you this plastic thing and you can cut out and put it in there. I get it, I get it, cute. I used to be so into resin. I basically started my business selling resin earrings and it was my entire life for a while. I used to come here all the time looking for little beads and glitters and pearlescent finishes and stuff and I had so much fun. I still love shopping for those things, I love buying those things but I don't have a use for them now. I still have a huge bottle of resin at home that I don't touch. I don't know if I'm ever going to go back because it's so hard to use. Also, I need a mask, like a full-on mask for resin and I don't have that. Look, look, look. 
Don't you just love shopping for craft stuff that you might not ever use? But like it's nice to buy. Oh, guys, remember? Look at all these little iridescent beads. I used to, I used to have this on my earrings. I used to make these. This is where I get them. If you ever wanted to make earrings like the ones I used to make, Wizawaya is the place. I was gonna talk about Yuzawaya, but literally just open your eyes and look around because even small shops like these, this is an art shop. They basically sell the same things. It's like you can compare prices if you really want to, but everything is almost the same. I just think like sometimes you find some hidden treasures in small places like this. But yeah, I love Yuzawaya. They did have a small resin section that I used to really enjoy. But I don't know. I, I just love shopping for things like that, even though I don't get to use them anymore. And they were also pretty strict about filming, so I hope you can see how the general store feels like. But yeah, it's fun. I recommend it. And yeah, I didn't buy anything from Yuzawaya because they were chasing me out of the store and also because I'm not really doing craft at the moment, it's still really fun to walk around and shop. That brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know which was your favourite art shop and which you really want to go to on your next trip to Japan. Let me know what you think because I've never made like Japan specific videos or like non-vlog style videos and yeah, it's the first and I would like to know what you feel. I have a whole bunch of other videos from my trip coming up. Stuff like making ceramics or thrifting in Tokyo, my haul video, so many. But thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me. Special shout out to my little shrimpy patrons. Thank you so much for supporting me and for allowing me to make content. If you'd like to support my work and my content or my art, my shop as well as my Patreon will be in the links below. But I will see you in the next video sometime soon. Bye!